start back up. So stunters, please write in the comments. I don't understand this concept, and I want you guys to help me out here. Lost. Here we go. We lost our mirror. Very appropriate. Alright, we're gonna go... What are we doing? We're like jank. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're gonna do a wheelie, but we're not gonna do it very well. But we maintained it. Very good. Very good. I feel like I need to swipe that up. We're recording. Oh, he did fall. What the... What the... What happened? It looked like he had it. And then he fell. Look at the stunt cage, though. Look at the stunt cage. Look at the protection for the bike. And now look at his hands. You see what I mean, stunters? You see what I mean? You spend the money to protect your bike. You spend thousands and hundreds and whatever. I'm good. I'm good. On, the, on the protection for your bike, the upgrades for your bike, but you don't get gloves. Yeah. $50, $90 gloves would have protected your knuckles right there. So I don't understand that. It doesn't make sense to me. It makes sense to you, because you did it, well, but I want to understand no, I think so. how that made sense to you. So stunters, please write in the comments. I don't understand this concept, and I want you guys to help me out here. We have full stunt gear. We have protection, sliders, cages for our motorcycle, multiple different brake rotors, multiple different things. You, you got so much on your bike. You spend thousands of dollars on your bike. But then we don't have anything other than maybe a helmet sometimes. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Is it is it a, a financial issue? Is there a reason why you didn't want to do it? Because it doesn't make sense financially if you're going to go ahead and spend that much money. But then you're going to have stuff like this where you rip your knuckles out. And that's I think that white stuff is your tendon at that point. Or maybe it could be just the, the dermis. My biggest concern is you're not doing what you need to be doing. Wear full gear. I don't I don't get it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Let me understand. All right, At biker moto aspect. Wheelie time, baby. Astonishment become a big problem for this. All right, land the bike. Watch out. We got a turn coming up, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good job. He's got a dirt bike so he can go ahead and go off road just a little bit. And we went up and over cuz we hit a little ditch. A little berm. All right, so what happened here? We got sun in the eyes. We're having a great time doing some wheelies, practicing our stunting skills. Nobody out and about. We're in a safe area. Hey, risk mitigated. I don't care what you do with your bike as long as you're safe, okay? So we're going to go ahead and land it because we're realizing we have something coming up that we have to pay attention to, uh, which is our buddy taking pictures right there. Uh, we, we just got to look cool. Anyways, uh, we got a bridge right here. Oh, we see some dust being kicked up. We see the signage right there saying that there is no shoulder, basically, and don't hit the uh, guardrail. What do we do here, though? We don't really have good escape paths. Escape paths are absolutely needed, so make sure you're finding it. So let's, let's see what he does. Oh, he swerves to the right, found that escape path because we got this uh, vehicle in the way. But now we got to swerve left, but we're on dirt, kind of worried about losing traction. And so we're just going to go ahead and slowly hit that thing and follow it. Good job. Saved himself. Anyways, uh, Mr. Hack Productions having a great time. Are we going to do a wheelie? They always look down before doing a wheelie. Why is that, Brian? Oh, here we go. Go ahead and dumped it. Got to got a little past noon. Oh, what happened to our leg? We just he roll up his sleeve because of the chain. You know, like on bicycles and stuff. You know, he roped it. I swear, I feel like nobody has ridden miles and miles and miles on a BMX bike. In the middle of if summer, just to hang out with a few bros to play uh, PlayStation One Ridge Racer. Um, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get up to here. So great position, great everything. You know, we don't have any vehicles. We have a lot of risk management going on. We have gear. Uh, I would wear a little bit more. I'd wear at least if we're gonna wear jeans. Let's wear some moto jeans. They have plenty of that stuff on Revzilla. Click the link in the description, by the way, uh, for for a list of beginner gear. So right here. He's going to go ahead and lean up a little bit, a little bit. And then he's going to go a little bit too far, lost that balancing point. So think about, you know, when you're leaning back in a wheelchair for funsies and you fell back too far. That's kind of what happened here. So he's going to go ahead and put his hands down like the last guy. But look, he's got gear. So maybe his hands are going to be fine. His hands should be fine. Now we're going to look down because we didn't have gear for that. We have a jacket. It looks like we just have regular shoes. 
But somehow our leg pant went up, and dude, you need a tan. Oh my gosh. How's your vitamin D? Can we get can we get a rookie to bring Mr. Hack Productions some vitamin D or just put him out in the sun for a little bit? Quick shout out to Progressive for sponsoring this video. You see in the background, it's only gonna take me about three minutes to get a quote. And that is what I want you guys to go do. Being a smart rider means that you are prepped and ready for anything. And crashing can be a real life possibility. So make sure you have some insurance. You can take care of your bike, take care of anything else. Maybe even take care of yourself. Go ahead and get a quote, super easy. Use the link in the description. Let's get going. All right, Gook, Gherkin Rider. Uh, nice, empty road, loud noises. It's gonna be great for the neighbors. Uh, hopefully he doesn't do a wheelie that makes him crash or anything, because uh, that would be unfortunate and nothing. Not wearing any gear, that's, that's a big thing. All right, there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and fall down and we're gonna slip and slide everywhere, roll around so you have impacts all over the body. I think we understand what we should be doing here or not. All right, moving on. There we go. All right, here we go. Doing some wheelies with our buddies. We got some pro tapers, and his buddy crashes. Kind of a slow speed. Not that big of a deal, but it doesn't look like he has much gear on him. So you're still going to have a little bit of road rash. It doesn't that, take very much. That hole looks so like it hurt, bro. So just think of like getting a rug burn. That like That's like hurt, a minor bro. road rash. Cap. Boy, you're so right. Imagine you doing There it bars. is. Damn. There it is. That hole look like it hurt, bro. You good, so bro? So imagine doing it on the street where it's not Damn soft. I ain't doing no hands no more. So no helmet, no gear, no nothing. There is that road rash right there, right on the elbow, right where you're going to have gear. Uh, but the reason why we did this in the first place is that we were wheeling, having a good time, doing a stunt ride, just having a, a good time with our buddies. Uh, but he's doing no hands. I, he just said, look at, look at it over there. He's going to do no hands. He's doing no hands. He's just practicing, doing his thing. So we're not really doing a good risk management he went a little too far after letting his hands go and then re-grabbing that motorcycle so he's gonna go ahead and drop the bike to the right i'm really concerned about right side injuries like bone fractures but his left elbow is the one that got road rash so how did that happen well there's the tumbling going involved so there's that left elbow starting to uh get some flesh ripped off of him now his helmet i mean sorry his head could have been protected by the helmet thankfully he didn't get a massive injury right there to the face but here's the thing everybody we need to be wearing full gear if anything, just wear a helmet when you're going to go stunting. I, you do what you want to do, but the main thing here is that we need to be at least a little safe and do a better risk assessment. The risk assessment here is no gear, wheelies, uh, in traffic, right when we're going to get on the bridge. Like, we're going to hit the bumps and, and everything, the, the, the concrete lines, and we're, we're not really doing a good risk assessment. So let's just do a little bit better. Let's go ahead and wear full gear. Let's do it in an area that is, you know, not like this. Uh, but if you're wanting to just do it because you're out riding, and that's what you're going to do, just wear full gear in the first place and you can mitigate quite a bit of these things. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.